I, my name is Meng Qi Huang, currently a PhD student at the University of Science and Technology of China. Today, I will introduce our CVPI to highlight paper, which is titled as Towards Accurate Image Coding, Improved Autoregressive Image Generation with Dynamic Factor Quantization. In this paper, we focus on the popular factor quantization based autoregressive models whose key problem lies in encoding image regions into discrete codes. Existing methods all adopt fixed lens coding that encode fixed size image regions into fixed lens codes, which is insufficient in important regions or redundant in unimportant ones. We propose fiber lens coding that encode image regions according to their different information densities to achieve an accurate and compact code representation. Next, I will introduce our paper in details. Existing CQ-based autoregressive models follow a two-stage generation paradigm that the first stage lends a code book to encode image regions into discrete codes. The second stage lends to generate codes autoregressively, which are then restored to images. However, existing paradigms all encode fixed size image regions into fixed lens codes and ignore their naturally different information densities. As a result, they suffer from two limitations. First, insufficient coding for important regions with dense information, which fails to encode all necessary information for faithful reconstruction and therefore degrades the realism of local details in both stages. Second, redundant coding for unimportant ones with sparse information, bringing huge redundant codes that mislead the second stage to focus on the redundancy and therefore significantly hinder the global structure modeling on important ones. Moreover, the fixed lens coding leading to an unnatural raster scan autoregressive generation order since all regions are encoded into fixed lens codes, there is no way for the second stage to distinguish their different importance. To address this problem, in this paper, we propose information density based fiber lens coding for an accurate and compact code representation to improve generation quality and speed. Moreover, we further propose a natural quantified autoregressive model for a more effective generation. Next, we will introduce our proposed method in details. Our first stage named Dynamic Quantization BAE, or DQBAE for short, which first constructs hierarchical image representations. Then we propose a dynamic grand coding module to assign the most suitable granularity for each image regions based on their different information densities. In the dynamic grand coding module, we implement a discrete gating network with global softmax technique to make the discrete decision for each region. The objective function of the QVAE is two parts. The first part is the same as VQGAN. The second part is our proposed budget loss, which aims to match the percentage of each granularity to the desired expectation. Result is, the model would assign the finalist granularity for all image regions. We implement the budget loss as a mean squared loss. Next, we introduce our second stage model, which is named as Dynamic Colonization Transformer, or DQ Transformer for short. Considering different images share different perceptual important regions, DQ Transformer first constructs the code content and position sequence in each granularity separately. Then, DQ Transformer can case the you know, cost to find manner to achieve a cost to find autoregressive image generation. We further propose to use non-shared position layers for each granularity's position sequence as well as a unique granularity layer to distinguish different granularity codes. DQ Transformer adopts a novel stacked transformer architecture, 
describes a position transformer lets you predict the next code position conditioned on all previous codes and their positions, while the content transformer lets you predict the next code content conditioned on all previous codes and the position of current codes. We provide an example to illustrate the sampling process of DQ transformer. Start with the SOS token. We first predict the first position token. Then we predict the, next, the first content token based on the predict position token. Then the process is repeated until all tokens are sampled. Next, we show our experimental results. For unconditional generation, we outperform all existing autoregressive state-of-the-art models, including the strongest large-scale VIT VQ game. We also achieve top-level performance compared with other types of state-of-the-art models. For class conditional generation, we outperform all types of million-level parameters state-of-the-art models will also achieve top-level performance compared with billion-level parameters large scale. State-of-the-art models. We show some generation samples of our model. Then we visualize our fiber lens coding. We could observe that our coding map exactly matches the error map of VQ gain. To be specific, the information dense regions where VQ gain has higher reconstruction error are assigned to more codes. The information sparse regions where VQ gain has lower reconstruction errors are assigned to fewer codes. Thanks for listening.